So we are in the Inglewood Arts Center and we are holding our annual holiday party. We invited folks from the community to come in and participate along with sponsors, donors, uh, supporters of the Inglewood Arts nonprofit. Uh, so we've gathered to and show that it's a community center, so we want the community to come in. So we've got glass blowing going on, handbells, ringing, uh, ornaments that were made here for sale. Uh, along with some food. This is just one small way that the arts can really impact a community and help to make the community a better place. Yeah, so um, the piece that's just behind me over here is called the Beaded Quilt. It was made in 2019 in partnership with another local artist named Laura White. Um, Laura is very important in this project because this project is working with blind and deaf blind and Laura is half deaf and half blind. You know, we, we spent about two years working on the project it's 330,000 colored beads. It's over 1,200 squares. And we worked with over nine different nonprofits all the way down around the Kansas City Metro, all the way down to Topeka. This is a vibrant, thriving community that has so much to offer and is a really big jewel in the Kansas City Metro. The group that came this evening is a wonderful mix of folks that are art advocates, friends of Inglewood Arts, supporters of what we're doing. Another way to get involved and participate is to come to the Third Friday Art Walk. We are open on Third Fridays and we do have activities going, so glass blowing. We typically have a pop-up restaurant or food shop here along with a, a performance aspect. We send out a monthly newsletter that's the best way to find out about what's happening here in the Inglewood Arts building along with uh, Inglewood Arts nonprofit. The best way to sign up for that or the easiest way is through our website, so inglewoodarts.art. Uh, we should be open fully by spring of 2023. Uh, we are also still in our capital campaign, so we are fundraising as we continue to renovate.